Hey everyone, I'm Ben Brett again. Uh, I am super excited to be sharing with you today what all goes into my Summit system and how I use it. Now, first things first, uh, this will be the third season now that I've used this Final Rise vest and it has been absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you guys how much I love this vest. Um, it, it just fits like a glove right now. So the other thing is I've got this thing completely dialed for the way I hunt, whether it's grouse and woodcock in the north woods, all the way down south to quail in Arizona and New Mexico. Um, it has served me very well and um, I've got it where I pretty much want it now. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the uh, left front pocket right here. And what I do is, first of all, I run a Pro 550 as well as my Alpha 100. And I keep my Pro 550 in my left pocket because um, I run dogs with this one. So I can, I can use the, the, the stimulation on this one and be carrying the gun in my right hand. Um, as well as a lot of the times as I have to be shooting two different calibers uh, during the course of a trip, normally 20 and 28. So the gauge I'm always shooting is gonna be in my left pocket. I'm holding my gun in my right so I can grab shells quickly. So uh, I bet I was in New Mexico last and I was probably shooting 20 gauge, yep. Federal Top Gun number eight. So. Uh, I keep my shells in there as well as um, I always tuck my pockets in. Uh, unless I'm transporting, I rarely if ever have them zipped. Uh, another thing I keep in this is I have on this loop on the front, I keep a pirate players for pulling out whether it's porcupine quills or uh, cactus spines. So that always stays there and I also have backup players as well. Normally when I'm out hunting, this is where my keys go. There's this front zippered pocket right here. That is definitely where I keep my keys because I have had them fall out of my pocket before. So um, just pick a spot, a zippered spot that you're generally not going to go into. Um, and that's kind of what I suggest. So uh, flipping over on the other side here, uh, I have got on my right side, I clip on my Garmin Alpha. And same thing with the 550. I always tether it to this D-ring right here. This clips on the outside because generally don't really use it. I'm running the electronics off of my 550 and I am running the Phoenix watch so I can see where my dogs are. Um, and generally I don't fuss with the Alpha so it clips right onto this Molly on the outside right here. And then uh, the shell that I'm not shooting is uh, gonna be in my right pocket because I'm always grabbing from my left. So I've got, I think, some more Federal number eights right here for quail hunting. So those go in the other pocket. Grab shells out of my left. These are my other gauge. So then I'm not having to pull out all my shells and retool every time I go. I can just swap pockets. So that's kind of what I do on the front. Again, both of these stay open like this. Uh, water is the next huge thing. So if I'm running multiple dogs, or for example, like Amos, he is an absolute water hound and I go through a pile of water. So this is honestly, it's a silly little thing, but it makes all the difference because I've ran vests in the past where getting water bottles in and out like you just you got to ask a buddy almost or you got to wrench on them to get them out or push them in so um, to be able to easily slide in and out like this is absolutely huge so I'm always carrying two water bottles um, no matter if there's water on the course whatever and then on hot days or if I'm running multiple dogs uh, actually Matt Davis showed me this because I was like dude I need more water bottle pockets I just don't want to just stack them up in the back of my vest he's like well check this out so there is a pocket on the side here and you can slip your water bottles in on either side. So hot weather hunts, I've got water bottles on both sides here as well as it looks like I keep a spare lighter down in here as well, which is nice to know. Transitioning to the back of the vest or on the inside here, there are three pockets along the back, one right against your lumbar and then two uh, on each side. So we will just start pulling things out. So first thing is I have a thing of that wrap. My old dog, she's got a limp, she's got a bad leg, so I normally always boot her her one foot uh, or in case a dog gets beat up, I've got vet wrap right here. Then next to it, I always keep a pair of gloves right in those back pockets, uh, as well as to go with the, the gauze, I've got the boots. I carry four just soft dog boots right here. A lot of the times I'll run Lewis dog boots at first, um, but these are just back up in case uh, they lose a boot or the situation arises where I need to put a boot on a dog. Another thing too is I will keep my starter pistol. Uh, and I don't always use this, but a lot of the times in the woods, early season hunts, like uh, we're gearing up for 
Um, I do a lot of training as well. Bird flies, dog points a bird, you don't see the bird fly, you can hear it. I'll pull this out, shoot it, use it as a training opportunity. So normally when I'm running that, I'll run that on my belt and clip the D-loop to my belt as well. And then obviously, uh, you know, in addition, you've got still a pile of room for birds. I have fit a Kansas full limit of pheasants, four pheasants in there, which that's a lot of weight, but you can definitely do it. So transitioning back to this back panel here, um, a lot of people don't know this, but there is an actual pocket behind this thing. And what I keep in there is spare slip lead. Now I normally always use a wonder lead uh, and I'll tuck that in the back of my vest when I'm hunting, but you never know a situation arises that falls out. You've got your buddy's dog. You just need to keep them under control. Something bad happened. Uh, I just keep a cheap little nylon slip lead in the back here as well as four important things. This is my Hail Mary. <laughs> so I always keep I always keep 220 gauge shells and 228 gauge shells just in case I run out of ammo and the action is still hot and heavy so um, that always stays in there. You can see on my vest uh, what I run is I it's the summit system as well as the rear bag and the jacket lashes. Um, pretty minimal but you can fit a ton of stuff as we are going to illustrate here with this rear pouch. So we'll open this up. And right off the bat, I've got a just a disposable skin stapler, um, something really easy. Dog gets cut, I can quickly fix that in the field. Uh, I've got this, which if anyone recognizes this, it might be yours because I found some weird stuff in here. But uh, normally, what I carry is, is uh, these are just big squares of gauze. Uh, if I've got a pack of wound, as well as some isopropyl wipes more gauze pads, band-aids. And then the weird thing that I found, let's see if I can, if it's still in here, but this is why that it might be somebody else's because I've never used these in my entire life. And here they are, breathe right strips. I have no idea why they're in here, but so that's why I say, if anyone, any of my hunting buddies that recognize this, it might be yours. Uh, moving on, uh, I've got another thing of vet wrap in here. I've got a couple uh, granola bars just in case you get hungry or whatever. Uh, I've got uh, electrical tape, but normally I also carry duct tape, like a half roll of duct tape always stays in the back of my vest as well for boots, cuts, whatever. Got a pocket knife that I keep sharp and it stays in there, I only use it in case of emergencies. Um, an extra pair of, of warm gloves for when it's cold out. Then I have this, which is just an old pill bottle, but uh, it's it's quick clot. It's a powder. So you can kind of see it's this this granular powder. And what what I use it for, and I've had to use it not in bad situations, but essentially, um, dog gets cut, you get cut, and you need to stop the bleeding quickly. You just take this quick clot and mash it in there, and it will stop the bleeding. But one. Uh, what I was told is don't use this on like a big arterial bleed or something like that because um, it does its job of clotting and it can actually stop the blood flow. But um, I've used this actually a fair amount of times. A guy in Alabama gave it to me. He said, it's awesome, man. Uh, it's Crazy Wayne. If you know Crazy Wayne, uh, he's crazy, but he knows his stuff. So <laughs> uh, I have that as well. I keep an extra whistle in case I have to locate a dog or use it to find help. I've got an extra Alpha 100 as well as a GoPro battery on the off chance I'm using a GoPro. Always nice to have an extra Alpha 100 battery in case yours dies because those handhelds are always going to pretty much die first, especially if you're charging them both. Um, another extra hemostats and then a, uh, a cutter for cutting open bandages or a scissors, I should say, cutter, but uh, cutting open bandages, cutting off boots, whatever. Uh, as well as a wire snips uh, that I would use for cutting snares. Uh, thankfully, I haven't had to use this yet, but it always stays in there. Um, one thing is, you know, if you're going to buy a nice pair, make sure that it is made for steel as well. Um, you know, if you've got to cut one wire and then you're going to replace it, you know, a regular one will work, but just a point. Uh, as well as on the trapping theme, I keep two big heavy duty zip ties in case you have to pretty much. Uh, Get your dog out of a conibear trap you can put these around the, 
of the, around the trap to compress the springs and get your dog out. So that is what I keep in my Final Rise Summit vest. And guys, I cannot stress enough how much I enjoy this vest. This is, again, I have put probably close to 200 days on this vest and it is just, it's a performer. It does its job. And Matt has done a fantastic job of thinking out not only the storage solutions, but the ergonomics of it. You know, it just feels right. The weight is just distributed in the right places. You can adjust it. Um, got the mesh back in it, that lumbar support. So it's just a very comfortable vest. Um, whether you're just going out for the day or you're going on a trip of a lifetime, it is a fantastic vest. So I suggest checking out uh, the Final Rise Summit system, and I hope you enjoyed um, seeing everything that I include on my bird hunting trip. So. Check it out, finalrise.com. Hopefully, you guys are successful this season.